Hello there everyone on YouTube. Welcome to another episode of this Warhand campaign where the second invasion of Mordor and everyone else is on their way. Now I had to do this cheesy thing, you know, of putting one unit over there on each place. Otherwise the other idea is to let them take the city so that the other I armies scatter and it can enemy. deal with them. Um, biggest issue of these invasions that Come on, they were declared to Edoras at the first time and then at the second time. Usually they're declared, declared to places like Imladris, uh, Dale, or something like that, even Minas Tirith. But being declared against me just complicates matters a lot. Now I am taking Lond the Air. I'm going to take on Lond in six turns. This yes, army is going to go over here and take Balern. So the Ended Ways are my target. I'm risking everything on getting the cities from it. Anyway, so that it will be, you know, free. And suddenly my position gets much better because these, all these armies, all these units and generals can go to this front. That's exactly my thinking. Or, um, well, actually, that's that's my thinking. And then, of course, I'll be able to finally prosper and build up a lot. So right now it's just an end of turn. Nothing else that I can do. Probably uh, the the last uh, episode, I had a uh, very poorly executed siege. I don't know what happened there. Actually, I should have. I was considering that I could win, you know, specifically on my positioning. But Conceal suddenly I lost a lot of stuff that I shouldn't have. Right, Baradvin is having some problems. Hopefully they won't rebel completely, because I have no units to send there actually. But it is building the, the castle, so maybe. We'll see. They're on the fleet, on the move over there. Oh, the wind ring has been located in Khardum. Oh, good luck with that. So I'm losing the money. Hornburg built that. And some Helmingers, that's fine. Right, so Dunlarek is having those issues. How come? Well, it can go into low tax rate. Be gone. I could attack them though. You know, how many turns does it take? Five turns, so that's fine. Oh, long air, I could actually take it. Your order, this army, I could attack there. He's oh, he's coming in for this uh, place there. That's fine. Let me check this uh, other spot. So he has nothing, he has two units of archers. Yes, my lord. Now, I wonder if I should take these sieges. Because if I take them, I'll lose a lot of units. Right now, it's fine, everything is going co under control here. Your orders, my Could actually attack this I other army line. on the outside in order to take Aldwork. I'm going to wait for them to do it. You know, I think it's my lord. wiser. Approaching quietly. Sending another one. So at least he's using all his generals to do that. He's gonna send this army top, and I'll have nothing to deal with that, which is a little bit bad. Uh, all these armies, yeah, they are dangerous, but still, they're not as dangerous as the fact that, you know, for now, I can manage all of this. Let me see, Varadvin is gonna build that up. That's fine. Yes. So yeah, I think I have to destroy this. No, conquer this Anadweight city and conquer Suduri here. Uh, if I attack this city, I need my archers to destroy them perfectly. Because I have no infantry, actually. You know, I could send my cavalry in afterwards. Look at that population. That would be a lot of money gained. Because I don't know if I can survive the five turns. So, what am I building here? I wonder if I can actually move here. And force like um, force a different force him to to flee over to Londair. I don't know. I don't know if that would be good. Well, I'm gonna have to force something out of this. Yes. So maybe yes. Maybe doing this. The there we go. As and now can I attack them? Glory, honor, I can, and they will sell you out. <laughs> right. So that's nothing. That's father for my archers and that's also archers archers and archers so basically all that I have to do Must is make this battle perfectly <laughs> this works battle. so well this works so well come on man 
gonna conquer this place, getting a, a couple more units due to that. Um, the battle seems to be swinging in I'm waiting favor, for Mordor to try and unseach me emerge. on that other side, so for now everything seems to be fine. I may try to do the same thing on the other side, so... Yeah, these guys, I'm just gonna set them like here. Well, actually, you're gonna go over here. That's it. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. So where are the reinforcements? They're from the side. Oh, that was that was silly. That was silly for me. So I gotta move them like here, and like here, in order to be safe. Let's fast forward. So here's his units, yeah, look at that. He's sending his other units, and I think to meet there. So yeah, cavalry, you gotta cover them up. Those are light cavalry. Uh, yeah, he's gonna send them on there. Yeah, they're no longer trying to, because my cavalry is moving in. So yeah, let's just move these guys back. They're firing missiles. It's fine, so am I. Right now my archers can do the damage there. I don't think so. You can just move here. You can just move here. And the cavalry, you can just move here. There we go. Fast forward. Come on. Yeah, a little bit of losses on that oil militia, but everything is fine now. Good. My archers can start attacking this guy. That's it. Never be afraid to back out a little bit. You know, if your strength is the missile troops, then abuse that, guys. Use it. Alright, let's go for the... Lots of battles against the end of wave. I wish I had committed more armies initially. Because the fact that I sent Eomer to the top, that was the biggest uh, error that I made on the whole campaign. Instead of going to Dunland, I should have defended defending. just the bridge, they have lost half their men. you know, and concentrate a lot of more troops on the end of the base. That way I could have destroyed them faster, and probably right now the conquest would have been already underway. The idea here is that this is actually already happening, so it's kind of fine still. Right, I need to hit those outriders. Let's attack these guys and those in the base outriders. So times two. I know they're going to hit some things. Oh! You're hitting that? Fine. If they're hitting my spearmen, it's fine because they're, they're spears. The battle you know? is very much in our favor. He's sending some Victory other unit, which is Elder Guildsman. I can send my, my general against them. Right now, those Inet Wraith Outriders are just getting killed. So are these Greyfold Raiders. Riders or whatever. Let's go for that. Let's attack that dude, because without the skirmish mode, he can cap... With, with the missiles, he can actually close up enough. Let's attack that Elder Guildsman. He's on missiles, but that's fine. He doesn't have stakes. Yeah, that's cool. So over there, that's three... I don't know which one is... Oh, that's the General, so... Oh, he has some England Raiders. Slain the enemy general. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. Yeah, let me go. The this guy... Oh! I killed the general, that's perfect. With just that charge, that was enough. So I don't no, no longer need that. Both generals have fallen and Oh dude! Again! Yeah, those javelin units, they are terrifying. Right, so archers, go for it. And if they throw riders, these guys are not gonna do anything. Let's just attack these angry raiders, come on. 
Right, I lost a lot of these bodyguard units. That wasn't good. I forgot about that other unit of anger and raiders, you know. Which is kind of bad. That's the javelin units that I'm, I'm starting to, um, to hate, actually. I can send all of you. You see that the horsemen actually managed to kill them. I don't know, my cavalry is coming in. Right, I can stop that. There we go. And he's gonna retreat as soon as these guys charge. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. Yeah, they're retreating. So are those Elder Guilds. If we continue there. like this, we will smash the enemy. So you can actually charge those Elder Guildsmen and do that. There we go. Need to charge the don't really actually need to charge them, but it's still a good effect. No, they're still gonna gonna die there, which is my general. Behold how our Good. So they're fighting, they're fleeing. The These guys have cleared that up. Have so now I can kill this. And at least I conquered the city, which is perfect for my plans. So this general actually can besiege the next the city on the other side of the river. Today. And then move over to the Dunland front, possibly. So that's good. I managed. The city is mine. There's no more s no more need to besiege it. Can conquer, leave some men behind, uh, and go over to the other. This is getting to be really good, really fast. My lord, what will you Execute them all and take over the control of the city. Then Suduri. That's a uh, an Edwith. Yeah, if I capture Suduri, I'll have to stay there. Your orders, my lord. As you come out, Woohoo! Money, Lord, money, 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 money. And what else can I do? A most noble conquest. I don't know what else I can do. Hunter's Guild. Right, the Hunter's Guild is kind of cool. Now, I could build something, some money, could build some, retrain some units and stuff, but right now what I feel is this. I should lower the tax, I should build the standing stones, I, I kind of feel like this one is going to be in there, needed, because I'm not going to have the, the men there. Can recruit some farmhand archers, these guys are inexpensive, you know. Uh, right now I'm going to leave what units? Just gonna leave that militia? No, those wild men mercenaries. Oh, and I can't move them in. My lord. Mission expired. That's fine. I don't know if by doing this, if I'll get enough there. If he gets, Orders. if he gets it done, will, then I'm my screwed. Lord. Orders. I think I should yes, send no. my one of my channels there actually. Continuing tomorrow. Oh, no, over to Baradvin. At least one of my channels. This I can't move yet, so that's fine. But that was a good Your conquest. Orders, my lord. So, certainly something that I need. Come and get me. Now, should I try yes, to do the same lord. thing? Now I can always leave. Go over there and try to see if they will retreat into the city. Because usually they will. So let's see if I can repeat the, f the funny thing. With honor, Lift the siege. Pulling back from the walls, no, they, I wouldn't. We they wouldn't. They wouldn't. That's so bad. That's so bad that he wouldn't. Approaching your orders, my lord. So I gotta do this again. Let me besiege here, so that he'll move closer, and then I can do it on the next we turn, perhaps. Prevail. So three thousand yes. in gold. I should be able to retrain a couple of units there. Yeah. Should be able to retrain some units. As you wish. Even train more footmen and stuff. I think I need these guys. Over here I need to retrain some units. And train another Rohan Spearman. I feel like I'm in need of some Spearman though. Yeah. This guy yes, is going to keep that up. 
uh, if he's going to send any reinforcements, it's not going to be right now, so he might try and attack me, which is going to be cool. And this is all invasion armies, so I can hang on to that for a little while. Yes, my lord. This guy is going to talk to question, as Shadow of Dunland. Your order. Shadow of Margaret. Oh, without question. Let's talk to, as you wish. Let's talk to Dale. Without question. What right. Hi there. Trade rights. Possibly a mistake. Very well. What else do you have to suggest? Map information. They're kind of bankrupt, so I can't ask for too much. Six hundred. You consider it generous. Right. So a thousand. Still consider it generous. Let's let's ask because I, I think they don't have the money. Enabled. Good day yeah. to you. See there. Yes, my lord. They don't have yes. the money, so there's no point for me yes. doing that. I shall At least I can tomorrow. go on to Erebor. Oh, some some decent warriors. That unit's cool. And black rock, black lock engineers. That's cool. Right. Where's the other agent? Yes, Already moving. Lord. Yeah, that's it. Whew. So that will be conquered pretty much. Ezra's is rising up units. I'm getting the generals replenished as well, Lord which is also, also important. Yes, my lord. Should get this guy over there. We're combining forces. Your orders, my lord. There you go. Orders. That's fine there on Hornburg. I should be able to require to build up units. Um, and abuse yes, that uh, the the retraining factor no, not the retraining sorry the uh, the fact that I can have units that are free upkeep your orders my now this is the battle that I need to go perfectly because there are some units here on the capital or these are a couple of the units that were there and I need to do this perfectly now I don't have a lot of archers and he doesn't have Hmm. He does have infantry, but he doesn't have a lot of stuff. The Grateful Raiders are their generals, so I do have a lot of cavalry with this army, so maybe that's the plan for this one. Maybe that's a plan for this one. I mean, I think on this weekend I'll be able to at least destroy Enidways um, with all this streaming. And even during the week, I might be able to complete this Rohan campaign. At least that way, there will be uh, daily episodes of it on the, the on YouTube. Let's start a deployment. Right, so I only have two archers. It's more. Th it's the same as they, but I do have perfect skirmishing cav, which I'm going to send on the left side. He does have militias. So now militia on the sides, the best troops in the middle. That's basic stuff. And this guy, these are Rohan riders. They are good. Can do a lot of damage. These guys can do a lot of damage. Right. So there's he is. He's a grateful taxman. Let's position my cavalry here. Let's position my archers here so that we can do some damage. Now it's not un not like I'm stressed out of their positioning. It's fine. He doesn't have any cavalry, does he? He doesn't. So that's only infantry. I'm pretty sure that I can coordinate things so that he will be badly positioned throughout. My archers would need to attack his own archers. There we go, come on. Right, these guys are way too close, so I'm gonna need to separate them. Yeah, because the the foresters will be able to to hit them if I'm not careful. Yeah, so far that's exactly where I want them. As fast as is forward as possible, or as, as far away as possible, and on their backs. Yeah, look at that. He's sending raiders and the foresters, and I'm attacking these Grateful Daxmen.
Let's move in. Horse archers, what does he have? Foresters and Grateful Raiders there. But they still have Raiders there, but I wonder if it full charge can do the damage that I want. So, actually, why not? Let me move here. Yeah, it's not like he's going to stop those units. Can run them over here. Yeah, he's just suffering a little bit and my archers are doing damage. That's nice. 1% of their men have already been killed. So my cav cavalry is now poised to do a lot of damage. There we go. Sending in some units. So that's raiders, that's foresters, that's river elders, that's axemen, some axemen. It's fine, actually. So let's position these guys fast here. Let's go for this. These guys, let's move here. Let's attack their general. There we go, that's a nice decent charge here. Our men have slain the enemy. Kill the general, that's good. Him, his troops will lose their will to fight. Earling militia, let's charge them in. Continue like this, we will Those are fleeing. Enemy. Those are not fleeing, so let's move here. It's actually those Grateful Raiders, they are fleeing. Those are not. Neither the foresters. Riders of the Mark. Let's go for it. Actually, these guys. That's what a charge is all about. You know, just wreck havoc. Make sure that we don't do too much damage. All that we need is to cause them to rout. And I think on that, I'll be successful. Actually, let's engage here with those great folks. Only half the enemy force remains. Let's charge those. There we go. So this should cause the units to flee. That's that one's fighting to the death. These moot wardens are they are surviving. Yeah, look at that. They are bracing, they're fine. Very actually. Much in our favor. Victory will be ours. So those are fleeing. Let me just make sure that I don't lose too many of these horsemen. I'm gonna need them later on. Now these guys are going to kill those and attack those. Is there anyone here? No, there isn't. Grateful Dexman, let's attack the Moot Keepers there. Let's attack the Moot Keepers then. Actually, I could attack these Moot Wardens from the back. Uh, just that. There we go. Just hit him with a couple of them, a couple of shots. They're already under under distress because of that. Yeah, just a couple of volleys is usually enough to make them rout. Over there, I managed to make them rout immediately. Those guys are capturing them. That's good. So overall, I lost 20% of my men. Well, considering I didn't lose too many infantry Behold units. How our cowardly foe runs. It's time to Continue the battle. So I didn't lose too much. I don't mind investing a little bit on these battles just to make sure that um, that I can clear everything. 
Oh, there's some units there who are not being cleared. So I'm going for the X-Men. Run, clear them all. I'll go for that one as well. Oh, there was one there. There you go. Get him! That's good. So he considers a heroic victory. That was still good. Good. Uh, since I don't have as many archers on this on this army, I can't do a prolonged fight. I have to try and do this. Now on that charge, the best, the be the worst problem was that the mood wardens and wood keepers just stayed there. So I don't want that. Should execute these guys so that I can move perfectly to their capital. And right now moving yes, into the bridge there. Good, retinue expanded. I can actually recruit some units. Uh, what can I recruit? Hey! Can recruit another X-Men? Or... My lord. Here's what I can do. I can lord have only orders. the generals on the sides. Yes, my lord. Your will, my lord. So that I can get an idea of what I have. As you wish. Your orders, my lord. Yes, my lord. So actually, just gonna send one unit here. The reader max covers is why not? And over here, I wanted to see what I can retrain. Oh, that that unit. That's nice. So a little bit of a cheese lord, there, but lord. it's it's necessary, guys, because he's. Hindering me a lot with all of this invasion. If it wasn't for the invasion, I gotta reinforce that. If it wasn't for the invasion, I would be per I would be perfectly fine. Now over here, I could even send this army and just recruit something else there. I could even send this guy there or this guy recruit something there. I guess that would be a good idea actually. Like recruit a farmhand archer or this farmhand pikeman. Yeah, instead of retraining that guy, let's recruit a farmhand pikeman here. Yes, my lord. And actually send this guy top. Are you going to complain a lot, Ragnus? Your no, lord, not. my lord. So at least yes. he's going to go over there. Hey, I can actually build a watchtower where this I was. This tower will be it. vigil over the lands. That's good. Yes, my lord. Yeah, it's going to be fine. He's going to reach can go there no enough. Further, my lord. Hopefully this guy is also going to reach there in, uh, in due time. And hopefully he's going to show up this Lord. army here so that I can attack this Anuland and capture it. And then it's Tharagrondos and his capital. So yeah, let's let's do this and turn. Oh, I didn't move this spy. I think City Tower might have some troubles. Oh, there's Gondor's army! What is he doing here instead of fighting Mordor? Now, as soon as I destroy this, I'm pretty sure, and I conquer these cities, I'm pretty sure that Gondor is going to have a lot of trouble overcoming Harad and Mordor. But at least I would have no problems there. Oh, there's plenty of forces here. What is going on? So he's sending in his captain, which has Lokigam Prim, Alberts, Alberts, let me examine my troops. I don't have a lot of archers, but I have good infantry units. Maulers, Orc Arches, Orc Arches, Sauron's Wheel, Orc Arches, he has a Morgul Chosen as well, lots of Morandon Guards and Uruk Arches. So the Arches and the Morandon Guards are no problem. The Loki Guy and Brim are. And what does he send over with this? Some Alberts, Uruks, and Morandon Guards. And don't be mistaken, this balance of power is important. This is important. I think not. I think I'm going to retreat this and attack them instead by doing a night battle because I really don't like the reinforcements that he's sending. And I can also send troops from the other side. So let's go for that. Rally to me, men. Is he going to we attack me again? Yeah. So since it's getting a little bit too complicated there on the timing. I'm gonna save this episode here and we're gonna see this battle on the next episode. Alright guys? So thank you guys for watching and goodbye. Cheers!